Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and today we're going to talk about a brush, a natural hair brush. I've been talking about this since I've got since I got it from uh, David and it's it's really blown me away. It is quite the enigma for me. I don't know what's going on with this brush, but it is fantastic. This is an R40 Ever Ready. It says pure badger, but I'm told that just means it's actually all badger hair. It doesn't mean pure badger in the way that brushes are classified today. This is very soft. It feels like a silver tip or what we would consider today to be a silver tip. At any rate, the reason why this little brush has <laughs> surprised me so much and I've talked so much about it is it has not shed a single hair of any kind. It doesn't even threaten to. Like it just... I've used it and used it and I've lathered soaps with it and test lathered. I've used it a number of times. It will not drop a hair. Also, when it dries, and it's dry right now, it does not dry crunchy. It's almost like this the, the hair retains some sort of moisture. You know how when you dry your badger knot, even if you run it over a towel and when you leave it set, when you first touch it, it's crunchy? This one doesn't do that. It, <laughs> it blows my mind. I'm not quite sure um, why that is. This one has a number nine on it too, by the way. This was made in the USA. It's 50 to 70 years old, I'm told. And it just works great. It, it is the only badger brush that I've ever used that doesn't annoy me, all right? For the reasons I mentioned, dropping hairs, just generally being a pain, stinking, having to defunk it. When it gets wet, smelling like animal hair, this, this one does none of those things. Now, I talked to J.R. Reyes, um, and he said, because uh, I was really surprised how well this brush works and the fact that it's not losing hair. And he said the way they used to put these brushes together in terms of gluing was essentially better than the way it's done today. He said today they're trying to jam these huge knots in there and the way they're glued isn't quite as nice uh, as they did back when they made these. In other words, my way of <laughs> thinking is this is you know, better made than a lot of brushes are made to date. Now, before you start doubting like you, DK, let me tell you, I've used, I own several Thaders before I stopped using natural hair brushes, not an inexpensive brush. I own Morrison Foundren brushes, Morrison Fordren, however you want to call it. I own several Shave Mac brushes. I owned uh, several Simpson brushes. I own Rooney brushes. I own basically every big name brush there was to own as of the time I stopped using natural hair brushes or buying them, which was probably four to five years ago. So I stopped right before Paladin came around. All right. So I used all the best brushes of the period before that. And I got rid of every single one of them. I never kept one because they were annoying. This brush is not that. I don't really know why other than it was made a long time ago. Isn't it surprising that this glue in here is 50 or 70 years old, and this thing holds up. It's very soft. It makes a great lather, despite being small. I imagine that's maybe 20 millimeters. I'm not even sure. I didn't, I have no idea. I'm just blown away <laughs> by this brush. I know a lot of people invest in these, you know, three, 300 plus dollar brushes. I've done that myself. I don't own them now, but I would say if I had known that these sort of brushes exist, that I would be happy with, that it would be a pleasure to use, that it wouldn't annoy me, I would have bought these. So I don't know if every one of these brushes is going to behave the way this one does, or this is just a special one-off case. I apologize for the traffic. I can't stop traffic <laughs> for the video, but this one is exceptional. It feels great. I just, I can't say enough good things about it. So. If you're out there and you find a new old stock vintage brush, maybe give it a shot. Worst case, um, the knot does shed. Maybe it's the glue's breaking down. You gotta send it to, to J.R. Reyes and uh, he'll put a new knot in it for you and you have a great vintage handle. But if it's good like this one, you might be very surprised of how good these brushes were a long time ago. And I know a lot of modern things are fantastic, but sometimes, Sometimes the way they used to make things may have been better. And I can tell you my preference for straight razors, vintage, Wade and Butchers, you know, those old razors. I just love the way they're made. That's not to say the, the razors of today aren't good, straight razors, but there's something really special 
about uh, vintage brushes like this and wearers in general. I know I talked a lot about um, vintage gear in the video the other day, but I wanted to highlight this brush because it's, it's like I said, it's an enigma. I can't figure it out. It's blowing my mind. It's like, how is this thing so good? How's it holding up uh, this well? I, I would be willing to bet most of you that if you take that, whatever brush you got today that you bought within the last year, in 50 years from now, that thing will be falling apart. <laughs> that's, that's what I would guess. Even if it's new in the box, I'm betting it would be falling apart. These were built to last. Now, that's just my feeling. I could be wrong. Obviously, I won't be alive then uh, to see, but this thing is just awesome. And so if you get a chance, this is R40 Ever Ready. Maybe you get one, it's terrible. I can't guarantee that you'll have the same experience as me, but awesome brush. I love it. Thank you, David, for letting me try it. It sort of changed my mind a little bit on Badger. Maybe there are Badgers out there that won't annoy me. I guess anything is possible. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, remember, I'm your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and God bless.